In this video, I want to show you how to create a chart in PowerPoint using data that is copied from an Excel worksheet. PowerPoint has the same graphing capabilities as Excel. To start a graph in PowerPoint, we don't need to start with data because it has some default data it will automatically use, which we can then just overwrite by copying data from Excel. On my PowerPoint slide, I go to the Insert ribbon and I select chart. I have all of the available charts that I want to use. I'm going to select our default clustered column chart. When I click OK, what PowerPoint does is it automatically uses its default data here to create the chart. But we can overwrite that by simply copying data in from Excel. So I can go to an Excel worksheet that I've created. I can select the data that I want to use for this particular chart hit control C to copy those cells and then come back to PowerPoint and in the top left corner I can go control V paste and it pastes in that data. One of the things you may need to do depending on how much data you've copied in and how much you want to show in the graph you may need to adjust the graph section what data is being graphed by simply moving uh, the little icon down here in the lower right hand corner to tell PowerPoint I only want to use this set of data to create the graph. When you're done simply close this little window and we have our graph here in PowerPoint that we can change, we can uh, do all of the manipulation we want because we have all of the chart design and chart format ribbons available to us so we can change colors, we can add data labels, uh, everything that we want to do because the graph is now in PowerPoint. There is no connection to that Excel worksheet at all. We simply copied the data over as if we were typing it into the data sheet to create this PowerPoint graph. If you found this video helpful, there are three things you can do to help me out. First, click the like button below the video on YouTube. Second, leave a comment with any questions or feedback. And third, subscribe to my channel. Check out my websites and other videos with more tips and advice. Thanks again for watching.